Example 7. Solving a quadratic equation using the square root property. We're going to solve the quadratic equation 4x squared plus 1 equals 7. Now our goal is to isolate the x term. But before we do that, we need to first subtract 1 to both sides. Subtracting both 1 to both sides gives us 7 minus 1, which is 6. So now we have 4x squared, which is equal to 6. Now we still need to isolate the x squared term by dividing both sides by 4. So we get x squared, which is equal to 6 fourths. Now we could reduce this if we wanted to, but I would recommend that you wouldn't because we already have a perfect square in this particular problem. Because in step 2, we're going to use the square root property by taking the square root of both sides. We have the square root of x squared equals, again, plus or minus the square root of 6 divided by the square root of 4. And so what do we have to square to get x squared? The answer is x, which is equal to plus or minus. The square root of 6 is not a perfect square, so we leave that alone. What do we have to square to get 4 is 2. So the two solutions are negative square root of 6 over 2 and positive square root of 6 over 2. And again, let's take a look and see. That's where it crosses the x-axis at negative 1.225 and 1.225. Let's go ahead and check in our calculator just to verify that. If we have the square root of 6 and then divide that by 2, it gives us 1.225 when you round it to three decimal places.